All right, what's going on, people? Back with another video. This time I have a really special pickup, something from Balenciaga, and these are the Coats Monochrome sneakers. Very excited to have them. I've actually had them for a minute now. I just haven't had a chance to put out a video on them. There was a few other things I wanted to get out there first. But now that I have some free time, I figured it'd be a perfect opportunity to give you guys a look at them. So, the first time I saw these was well over a year ago in a store called The Tannery in Boston. I saw them in person and I was floored. I was like, those are so nice, I have to have them. The problem is they hit for $6.35. So it wasn't something I was just going to go impulse buy, but I didn't forget about them. I kept them in mind and fast forward to just recently, they re-released the shoe. Now I had just gotten rid of a few pairs of sneakers, stuff I wasn't wearing anymore. It was just sitting in my closet. So I put that money towards these and I couldn't be happier to have them. Now I know a lot of you guys are thinking if you had $600 to put towards a shoe, it wouldn't be these. You'd get some old Dornbeckers or a foam posit or like a hyped up LeBron or something. But I try not to pay uh, resale prices for sneakers. Uh, I really don't. And my taste in sneakers is changing. If I miss out on a certain pair, I don't go for it afterwards, most likely. You know, I, I just kind of move on. But I also have been liking a lot of the high end sneakers that have been coming out recently. And I think that's a direction that I'd like to go in. So, uh, with that said, these are the first Balenciagas I've picked up. So if you're looking for a crazy uh, in-depth review on them, um, I'm not your guy. I don't know everything there is to know about these. I just buy what I like, that stuff that fits my style, do a quick overview video, and put it on my YouTube channel. So with that said, let me give you guys a quick up close look at these. So as you can see, the entire shoe is a vibrant red. There are no other colors on this shoe, just straight red. And as, you, as you'd expect, the materials are beyond top notch. You've got a calfskin leather, a lambskin leather, and a premium suede on here. My favorite feature by far is this pleated leather right here on the mid panel. That's kind of where it gets uh, another name for it. People call these pleateds. But uh, this leather is super soft. I really like the way it looks. You've got it right there on the mid panel. On the back, you've got a hit here, and then around the ankle as well. You also have it on the toe box right there, and all throughout the tongue. Now, this suede on the toe cap is so nice. Premium, as you'd expect, but it's a, it's a faded red. The original release in 2012, this suede was the same color red as the rest of the shoe. They lightened it up a little bit. I, didn't, I don't know if that was to differentiate the two versions or whatever, but I really like the look a lot. Now, the factory lacing on these is crazy. I'm not sure why they lace them like that. I had this one factory laced to have the other shoe laced the way I wanted to lace them, so I'm really undecided of how I'm going to keep them. Now as far as the midsole and the outsole, it's all red rubber. You've got a Balenciaga hit right there. That's the only place you really can visibly see uh, a Balenciaga branding. A lot of times high-end shoes have their branding all over the upper, like Gucci or Louis Vuitton print. And I think that's so tacky. These are really clean. I, I like how they're executed and I like the other colors in these as well. And then there's also a quick, there's a quick look at the inner lining, it's all red leather. And then on the insole, it also says Balenciaga. So there's a quick up close look at these. They come in an off-white dust bag. Well, they come with an off-white dust bag. They didn't come in these. They came in these plastic bags. Really nice touch. The box is the sturdiest box I've ever seen. This thing is rugged. If every sneaker came in a box like this, we wouldn't have any problems, but it's just all white with that black Balenciaga brand. So most importantly, let's get these on feet. Bring you guys down to kick level, give you a look at them. I'm so excited to have these. I mean, that red is just crazy. It was a tough decision. I could have got these or the blacks, but I went with these because I'm hoping this isn't my last pair of Balenciagas. I'd like to get the black arenas. Hopefully that is in my future at some point. 
but those are really clean, so I figured the red would be a good bet for these. Now, <laughs> I don't know, just to elaborate on what I was saying uh, uh, earlier, I have no problem passing on some hyped up releases. One, because most of the time I can't even get them. And two, you just gotta, if you have a certain shoe in mind that you really wanna get, it makes it a lot easier to pass on certain things. Like the infrared sixes that are coming out in, I don't know, a couple weeks. I really wanted to get those, I was on the fence, but now I'm, I'm certainly passing on them because I'd like to get the black arenas at some point. And passing on Jordan retros, in my opinion, is the easiest thing to look past because, to be honest, a lot of times they're let down, especially white leather ones. So even, and I love the sixes. That's coming from me. But here is a look at these joints. Very dope in my opinion. As always guys, let me know what you think about them. I'm well aware that these are for everybody. But I think they fit my style. I'm happy to have them. Now in case you didn't see the sticker on the shoe, these are a size 44, which is a US 11. So they run very big. If you're planning on getting a pair, you've got to go down a size. Honestly, I may even be able to go down further than these. They still fit a little bit. And arenas fit the same way. So there's just a quick look at them. I'll show you guys what I'm rocking them with. You've got the kicks, and then you've got a faded black Marc Jacobs leather, uh, not leather, uh, denim. I kind of think it's a good look to go with the faded suede on the toe cap. Not sure if you can even see that. But those are an off black. And then I've got my Stussy Deluxe and Made in Noir bomber jacket. Really nice. Has uh, lambskin leather arms and then a waxed body, two pockets in the front and black cuffs. And then just a black beanie. So pretty much like I was saying, all black. I think it's a good look with red sneakers. I won't be wearing any red with these, especially these because they're, they're so vibrant. But this is what you'll catch me in when I'm wearing these. Either that or some khakis and like a light tan vest that you guys have seen me rock before. So there's a quick overview of the shoes. Hopefully you guys liked it. I'm gonna trickle in a couple high-end sneakers here and there in my channel. Hopefully this year or for however long I'm doing these videos. But I hope you guys liked it. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Be sure.